Hello everyone! Today I am here to share with you my travel slash overnight beauty bag essentials. Yay! So the reason I'm doing this video is because next week on Thursday uh, my husband and I are going to take a trip up to Mount Fuji to go to Fujiku Highland which is a roller coaster sort of theme park and they have crazy roller coasters and we're gonna also be doing a little bit of sightseeing around Mount Fuji and I'm super excited so we're gonna be there for two days and one night so I thought I could do a what's in my beauty bag video so um, I'm just gonna be showing you products that I will bring with me um, on my overnight trip so let's get started yeah and if you're wondering where I purchased this bag I got it at Daiso which is a 100 yen store here in Japan which is basically a dollar store and I love this bag it was really cheap and it's cute it's got a little bow on top and this is what I'm gonna use to carry all my beauty items and just for the record a lot of the products that I'll be showing in this video are going to be in their full-size bottles but um, when I'm actually on the trip I'll probably be transferring a lot of my products into travel size bottles like this one but just for the sake of this video I will be showing products in their full-size bottles just so it's easier for you to tell what it is here are the makeup products that I'll be bringing with me. First off is my Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. It's got SPF uh, 35 and I have it in the color light. I really like this BB Cream. Um, it's not too super oily, so I feel like it's great for if you need a little bit of extra coverage but you don't really want to use foundation and it'll help me protect my skin from the sun so I always bring this with me when I'm traveling and I usually wear it um, when I'm filming like today so great product you should try it also I'm going to be using my Elizabeth Arden Ceramide I don't know if I'm saying that right Ceramide Lift and Firm Concealer And I just recently bought this concealer and I'm really loving it. Uh, it's got good coverage and it doesn't make me break out, so big plus. I will also be bringing my eyelash curler. Got it from the dollar store, liked it because it was pink. It works pretty well. I mean, I'm not really crazy about buying expensive eyelash curlers, so I just buy cheap ones. I will also be bringing my Lancome Art Liner in navy. My new favorite eyeliner. It's actually got a longer felt tip than normal um, liquid eyeliners and it's really easy to use and coming from me that's saying a lot because I really am horrible at applying liquid eyeliner I'm actually wearing it today if you can see and I really love it it goes great with my brown eyes and it's easy to apply so that's my go-to I'm bringing with me two different mascaras. My all-time favorite mascara, CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. It's in black brown, I think. Yep, black brown. And I'm also bringing my Maybelline Rocket Volume Express mascara. This one's waterproof. Not sure if I'll need waterproof or regular, so I'll bring both of them. 
and I will also be bringing my Smashbox Fusion Soft Lights um, sort of bronzer blush highlighter all in one. I'm actually wearing this today and it's really good um, because it's got a wide variety of colors and you can either just use bronzy colors or you can use the blush color, the highlighter kind of color. It's not really light enough for my skin, but um, usually I'll just swirl them all together and put it on my cheeks and it looks really nice. Love it. Uh, I'll be bringing my current favorite lipstick. Uh, Color Whisper, I believe. Uh, I'm a horrible beauty person. I think it's Revlon or Maybelline. Don't judge. But anyway, Color Whisper lipstick in the color Cherry on Top. I'm wearing this today. I really like this lipstick. Um, it's very buttery and smooth and it goes on really nice. The only downside to this lipstick is that it doesn't stay on very well. It's more like a lip balm. So if you do want to keep the color, you have to keep reapplying it. But I love the color and um, I love that it doesn't feel super sticky. So that's what I'll be bringing with me. I will also be bringing my powder. My Maybelline Mineral Power Powder. Um, I use two different colors and sort of blend them together. Um, this one is Natural Ivory and this one is Classic Ivory. So, bringing those. And my Carmex, because nobody wants chapped lips. Uh, the brushes I'll be bringing with me, um, I have my um, spoolie for my eyebrows, uh, I have my Sigma foundation brush, F60, um, I use this pretty much every day so sorry if it looks dirty, my Sigma blush brush, or, sorry, Large Angled Contour Brush, F40. I use this for blush, bronzer, contour, anything that I put on my cheeks, I use this brush. I like it. And my Large Powder Brush, F30, so Sigma. And all three of these brushes, are from, I'm pretty sure they're from the Sigma Travel Kit or the basic Sigma brush kit. Um, comes in like that uh, leather tube. And these are the brushes that I use on an everyday basis. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring those with me. Okay, moving on to the rest of my beauty products that are non-makeup related. Well, except for the first one. I will be bringing my makeup remover by Festa um, Cleansing Express Moist Cleansing Lotion. And this um, makeup remover I bought in Japan and I don't know really where else you can buy it. Uh, the only reason I bought this particular makeup remover was because it was one of the only makeup removers that I found in the Japanese drugstore that I could tell for sure that it was makeup remover. Um, it had a little picture of a girl like wiping um, some really bright eyeshadow off of her eyes with it. So I figured it was definitely makeup remover and it's actually really nice. Um, it's very gentle but effective and I've just stuck with it, so 
That's my makeup remover. Also, obviously I'll be bringing some uh, makeup remover pads and some cotton swabs. I'll be bringing my favorite moisturizer, Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream for normal and combo skin. I love this gel moisturizer. It is a lifesaver. It works really well, especially for people with oily skin. So if you have oily skin and you're looking for a moisturizer that's not gonna feel oily or clog up your pores, I would definitely recommend that you try this. I love it and I'm bringing it with me. Got my contacts, my contact solution. I have my Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Protected. This smells so good. Mm. I recommend this. Uh, keeps your hair from getting burnt. That's always a good thing. Also bringing my little mini hair straightener by Revlon. I love how cute this is. How cute is it? Like, it's adorable. When I bought my full size straightener, it came with a little mini straightener. So whenever I travel, I bring this um, just in case I need it. I've also got some St. Ives Intensive Healing um, Hand Cream. Usually when I travel, instead of bringing a full um, a full tube of lotion, I'll just throw some hand cream in my bag because it's always smaller and it's extra moisturizing. So I think it's a good travel item. Also, I have two uh, perfume samples that I got from the makeup counter so I can smell nice. This one is Taylor by Taylor Swift. It smells really good. Mm. And the other one is Viva La Juicy Noir from Juicy Couture. This one also smells really good. And last but not least, my Degree Clinical Protection 24 Hour Motion Sense Deodorant. helps you to sweat less and it's my go-to deodorant so and that's it that's everything I will be bringing with me in my makeup bag beauty bag for my trip to Fuji I'm super excited so if you like roller coasters or if you're just interested to see um, some cool footage of Mount Fuji please 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 come back next week I will be filming and taking all kinds of pictures while I'm at Mount Fuji. So next week's video will be all about that. And I'm super excited mostly because we're going to Fuji Q Highland, which has one of the scariest roller coasters you've ever seen. If you want to, you can go to the Fuji Q Highland website and check it out. I'll leave a link below. There's this roller coaster that the seat that you're sitting in on the roller coaster spins while you're riding the roller coaster, which sounds ridiculously scary, but I am determined to go on this roller coaster and I'm gonna try to get some footage of it while I'm riding the roller coaster. So that's gonna be super fun, a little bit scary, but I'm really excited to share this with you guys. So please come back and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more and be notified of new videos, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you all next week. Bye!